Hey, what's up everyone? This is Mark with Southern Custom CC. Today, um, I'm going to answer a question that somebody had asked about how to check your rings uh, without having to pull your piston out and jeopardize uh, breaking your rings once you verify that the uh, piston rings are in the proper place and the uh, piston is oriented correctly so that you are not at jeopardy of breaking your piston rings. Uh, these YD100s are notorious for having the piston installed backwards when you get them. And especially if you get these in two pieces, then um, it's much easier to check it, but you can still do the same process. Even if it's one piece, you just lift the jug up. All you have to do is take out your head, and you see this sitting down there? All you have to do is look inside. And if you look towards the bottom, you'll see one side has two notches on the very, very bottom, while the other side does not have those notches. The notches face the intake port. That means that this piston is oriented the proper direction. And the piston rings and the pins that are in between those piston rings are on the correct side. Now, if you question that, another step you can do is just pull your piston down until you see the hole. Then very, very gingerly, just slide that down until you see the first piston ring. At that point, you rotate it until you see the piston pin. Okay? And if you see that piston pin before that hole on the piston breaches the transfer port, then your piston is oriented the correct position. It's in the right way. So you verified it by looking at the notches and the bottom of the piston, and you verified it by the pins, okay? So once you verified that, you just slip it back up and twist it over clockwise until the hole is in the center again. And then you don't even have to take out your piston. All you have to do is take off your nuts and bolts, pull out your crank, and slide that baby down. Pull out your pin, as well as your bearing, and then just slip it all on. And it's all one piece, and you don't even have to take out that piston. So, hopefully that's a uh, quick reference for you to help you out, so that you uh, have less chance of uh, breaking those piston rings to verify that the piston is in the correct direction. So, thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see y'all soon. Fly low and avoid the radar.